Okay, so now we're going to talk about environment at environment. And um, basically, it's a special tool in Swift UI that helps you share information between different parts of your app. So what is at environment? At environment, again, helps you share information between different parts of your app. So imagine you're making a cake and you need to make sure that all the ingredients are ready in the right place. That's what Ad Environment does for your app. It makes sure that all the information your app needs is in the right place and ready to be used. For example, if you want to change the color of your app, you can use Ad Environment store color you want. Then you can use that information in different parts of your app, make sure that everything is using the same color. Yeah. So in short, Ad Environment helps you keep all the information and make sure that everything is where you need it. So um, what is app, what we're going to use add environment for in this tutorial? And this code add environment is being used to access the presentation mode. Presentation mode is like a helper that helps control how different parts of your app are shown on the screen. So again, we're going to have a main view, a main view, which is the content view. And in the content view, we're using add environment to access the presentation mode and store it in a variable called presentation mode. We're also using this information in the button action to present the second view. When the button is pressed, it calls present second view, the function which creates the new view and then tells the helper presentation mode to show it on the screen in full screen mode. In the second view, we're using the ad environment in a similar way. We're accessing the presentation mode and storing in a variable called presentation mode. We're then using this information in the button action to dismiss the second view and go back to the first view. So in short, ad environment is helping us to access the presentation mode to control how different parts of our app are shown on the screen. Okay. And so... Let's go ahead and get to the tutorial and um, let's get down to business. This is our project. I called it um, environment, environment app. And so um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna create, we're gonna have this view, this content view, but then we're gonna create another view that's gonna call second view. So let's go ahead and um, create second view. Well, let's go ahead and create content view first, okay? So content view is going to look something like this. Um, I'm going to go here and let's get rid of this right here. Let me see something real quick. So we have this and um, this should be, let's go, let's go. Okay, and um, of course, this should not be showing right. It's taking forever, and it's actually um, it's aggravating to me. Um, stop. Why you know the preview is killing me? It really is. Okay, there we go. I don't care what the preview is doing. Um, so we have this text: "Hello world." And I don't care. We leave that there. And we'll just have a button. Button. Right. And it'll be action. Escaping. There we go. And um, we're going to leave that alone for now. And we'll just have this text. And I just want to say present view. Right. Cannot conform. Let me see something. Button. Stop. I'm going to put this right here. Action. And right there. And that's how that works. Um, oh, come on. An action. And I don't have this. So I'm doing a little bit of a syntactical crapola. And this should, um, okay, hold on. Jesus. B button. 
action. Okay, action. Uh, right here, button, action. Do this right here, okay? And then we have this, okay? All right, and I say uh, text, right? And um, we'll say present our second view, present. Second view. Okay. Now we have this. Okay, this is what is it missing on me? Stop. So now we have this, and of course, this is not uh oh boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another um we'll create a new file and we're gonna call it second view, swift UI view. It's called second view. Create uh, this preview thing is actually kind of aggravating when it's not um when it's not working right right so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and I'm not, get rid of this hello world and just say this is the second view right and um see this preview is working okay and then i'm gonna go here and make a button b u button action right here right here 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 Come down here and do this. This is gonna be our what we presentate, we present text. I'm gonna call this dismiss, right? Okay, now this is where our action takes place. Okay, and of course, this is where I will present. Let's go back here to content view. And um, oh, now it wants to show it a little bit, right? Um, Crapola, but it's not doesn't do anything right now. So now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add our environment, right? We're going to access presentation mode and we're going to display. We're going to use present. Well, actually, we're not going to display it with presentation mode, but we're going to have a function, right? Um, Give me a second. No, I don't know. Give me a second. Hold on. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, I'm going to create a um, make sure that. Okay, never mind. So let's go ahead. I'm going to create a function that we'll use to call here and present our second view and i'm gonna call this function present prevent present second view PR. present second view right okay and so now i'm gonna say let second view equal second view right okay in the instance of it and then we're gonna say let view controller. I'm using the view controller. Yes. Um okay, I'm doing I'm being a little bit hard and fast with this, but it's a way of getting it done. Post view controller, right? Root view, right? And the root view is second view, right? So we got this, and now I'm gonna say view controller dot modal present style view controller dot modal. Oh come on, dot and modal present style Ugh. equals what? In this case, we're gonna say automatic. That's the one where you can kind of 
pull it down to dismiss. It doesn't cover the whole thing, right? I mean, it covers it, but you can see around it and you can pull it down or press a button to dismiss it, right? Application dot shared, right? Dot window, by the way, um, yeah. Dot windows dot first, um, dot root view controller dot present, present, right? Now I'm gonna say this, some of this stuff like the uh, windows dot first and um, some of this has been deprecated. Just FY um, view controller dot true. So there are other ways of doing this, but I'm just really just trying to uh, demonstrate um, how you can use um, your uh, environment variable to facilitate all this, okay? So um, so now um, I have this and I'm gonna say present view, present second view, okay? So now I'm presenting second view and um, let me see something. So we're, we're not using the environment to present second, we're using it to dismiss, okay? So right there, but you notice this, this is, so now we already have a view open, right? We're going to use our environment to dismiss it. So how we're gonna do that is, we're gonna go to um, our second view, right? And we're gonna access this. So um, go back here, second view. And I'm going to go to the top of here and I'm going to say at environment. And we're gonna access the presentation mode, right? Okay, okay, sorry. Slash dot presentation mode um let me see something real quick so i'm going to say presentation mode right here bar free okay and i'll call this presentation mode okay so now i have that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self dot presentation mode dot um, wrapped value dot dismiss. And this should dismiss my um, my uh, view, right? The second view. Okay, so I'll go here and dismiss. Present it again, dismiss, okay? And so that's how we use this to access this. It's very different from probably what you're used to, right? And with view controllers and in UI kit. So um, yeah, I'm just glad that I could, uh, and you can also use you can also access your environment your your environment variable and there are other things. Um, so I'm going to show you a reference list. So for more information on environment and environment values, you can go check out this link: developer.apple.com documentation Swift UI environment values. Um, I'll put this link in the description. And when you go here, there's lots of information about um, different properties and things to that affects 
that um, you can access, right? And um, another thing, just in case you don't know, many of you probably already know this. Um, if you go into your, right here, you can jump to definition, right? And you can see methods, information about your method, and as well as other methods, right? If you scroll down, see color scheme is another one. So you have presentation mode, color scheme, right? Um, if you want to find out what this object is, right click and go to definition. You should be able to go to definition, right? Okay, or not. I don't know. Um, yeah. But it, I mean, like, for example, if you want to find a definition for this, you can just do this, right? Go here. And you just, you know, basically paste this in here, color scheme, right? And then unless it throws an error, then you jump definition, which is, but it throws an error. But I mean, use it in a way where you, you don't throw an error and then jump definition, right? But anyway, okay, so get, get off me. Um, let me go back here. Uh, environment, jump to definition, and right. So now these are all things that um, are used within environment wrapped. You can find a wrapped value. You can find out what that's all about. And, you know, I think I might make a video at some point about it. Environment key, right? Environment object, which um, I think we're probably going to discuss in the next video. But um, that's just an example of using the presentation mode uh, when you're using environments. And um, like I said, there are a lot of other things you can use this for. Um, so I, I'd encourage you to get out, get out here and play with it so you become familiar with it. And yeah, on to the next.